So, Isabel, to help you with your newsletter problem here, uh, to explain the problem is that the photos are um, uh, are embedded in the email, and when you copy and paste the text from the email into Umbraco, the image data doesn't make any sense in the text field. Uh, at best, if you're copying from a web page or something, you will get an image which will have a reference to its original source on the internet, but that's not necessarily what you, what you want. You want the files to be on your site so they're under your control. So what I'm going to do here, I am going to go to the email. I'm going to right click. I'm going to attempt to right click. There we go, on the image. I'm going to say save attachment. Oh, I've actually already saved these two attachments to my uh, desktop in an earlier uh, run at this. So this is image uh, 02. There's also image 04, which is the heart image at the bottom of the email. So I've done that. I've saved this image onto my local machine and I've saved the heart image onto my local machine. Now, there are two ways of getting this into Umbraco and I'm gonna show you the longer way first, which has a few more options, which is in Umbraco, I'm going to go to the media tab. I have already created here a new uh, folder called uh, news, which you can reuse for this kind of thing. And in the news folder, I'm going to say create and uh, let me get the title from that image again. Trends Addicts Only. So I'm going to type that in. I'm going to set this as an image and click Create. Having done so, I'm going to click Choose File. I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to choose the image I want to upload and I'm going to say open and it shows me the file name there. The file is not uploaded until I click on the disk and I've done the wrong image. Uh, so let me say choose file again, select the correct one, open that and save again. This is, incidentally, is the same technique you'll use when uh, we start working on the photo gallery. That image is saved. I can go back to the content tab. Here I am on uh, Paris. I'm going to check in the email. It comes after Lookbook on my website for a few pictures. So I'm going to flip back to Lookbook on my website for a few pictures. I'm going to make sure that I have an empty paragraph here, and I do. At the, in the toolbar at the top, I'm going to click on Insert Edit Image. It will show me a picture of the media directory in a moment. There we go. So when it says Choose here, I can go to the media directory, to the News folder. There's the image I would like. I'm going to click Insert. And there is the image in place. I'm going to save but not publish this. And if I preview that, what I should see is when I scroll down, there is the image in place. I'll repeat this for the heart image, but I'm going to do a slightly different thing, which is if you've forgotten to uh, upload an image first and the folder that you want to put the image in already exists, uh, I'm just checking here to see the heart goes at the end. So what I'm going to do is click at the end of the email here. Uh, in this place, I am going to click on image. And what Umbraco provides you with is a quick way of creating an image uh, on the fly. I'm going to click on create new here. I am going to call this, oh, not Valentine, uh, Valentine heart. I will choose the file, image 02. I will choose from this media section where I want to put it, which is in the news directory. So it now is going to be called Valentine Heart. Upload this file and place it in the news directory. And I'm going to click Save. And at this point, it's exactly like before. I just click Insert and there is the image in place. I'll save.
and preview. There is the trends addicts and there is the Valentine heart. Okay, so that's how you do that. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call in the morning. Bye.